You learn to a life transforming experience as Pastor Prince Abba brings you God's word with deep insight and power. God bless you. And we. So something has corrupted you, Satan. You are coming down. And they dethroned the guy. But you know what? The guy who was promoting I came down with the team. Because he knows that for him to operate, he cannot operate as I. He must operate as we. So he is the father and the architect of the principle of individuality. He would operate with that principle to fight the church. But he will not allow that principle to operate in his kingdom. All the demons, witches and wizards, marine spirit, occultic spirit, everything called the powers of darkness, principalities and powers, both the ones in the air, the ones on land, the ones in the water, the ones in the tree, everywhere you find them, the ones in animals, everywhere, they all bow to one guy called the, the devil. They understand compression and unity because what is a contest is dominion. Can I tell you something? When the devil is about to be thrown to the earth, he knows that the earth is the place God created and man was going to be given the earth to have dominion and it will take partnership for man to have dominion. Satan knows if I don't have a partner here, I can't have dominion. So he understood I can't come down alone. The Bible says he used his tail and he dragged one third of the angels and they came down with him. That's why he's not the only one moving on the earth. You see, he has agents everywhere. They have different departments in hell. There are some who are in the department of witches and wizards. Some are in the department of occult. Some are in the department of 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 of, of, of money. Some are in the department of uh, 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 give me names demons. Some are in the department of marine. Some are in the department of some are everywhere. Some are in beds. Some are in animals. Some are everywhere. And guess what? They recognize one leadership. Satan. One le- they recognize him. Now see, the ignorance of the church. People come to church to get their prophecy and go home. They come to church to get their miracle and go home. They come to church to get their blessing and go home. They don't understand the corporate purpose of God, which is dominion on the earth. They don't understand the corporate kingdom agenda of God. And because they do not understand it, you know what is going on? The devil is taking advantage of their ignorance. And is running the earth. I'll show you one scripture and I'll close. Sunday I continue. Listen, if you guys master, you see how this individualism happened? The kingdom is not a place for individuality. It's a place for community. The purpose of church is so we can bring our individuality and collapse it into a community. So that the will and the purpose of God can be done. There is something bigger than your personal need. is the need of God. The need of God is that this earth will be reclaimed and it, the, 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 that God will reign on this earth. Can't you see what Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 said? He said, he has made us kings and priests unto our God. And we shall do what? Did he say, shall reign in your business? Reign in your shop? Reign in your career? Reign where? Why don't we see the earth? Reign everywhere. Church, reigning everywhere. The thing that makes vision different from ambition is that every time vision is in place, it will require people to achieve it. And vision is what comes from God. Then anytime ambition is what he's speaking, it doesn't need people. It's I, my, I, my, I, my. Ambition. If it's a vision, it will need people. That's how you know it comes from God. Can I tell you how to arrest most of the problems in this world today? It's not by praying too much prayer. After praying, systems. And systems cannot be driven on the basis of I. It's people who drive systems. The world is a system. The earth is a system. Driven by people. The church is the only organization that does not understand the power of them. Partnership. See, Genesis chapter 11, my last scripture, and I close. Then on Sunday, 
I don't want to be talking miracle, miracle, miracle. You have been receiving evil. There are real problems to deal with. Real problems. It's not just to be talking. After you receive your breakthrough, and then one day I was flying in the aircraft and I was coming back from a journey. And something profound happened in that airplane. When I entered the airplane, God said to me, said, Look, if everybody in this plane is sick, how do you heal them? I said, By the power of God. By what? The power of God. I will heal everybody here. You see, I did something like that a few minutes ago. Tell my to everywhere. I said, Tell my, it's okay. You guys can go. Can go. You can go. Can. They are gone. Is that correct? But let me tell you, there is a way to make sure they are permanently pursued with that power again. Permanently. If you like, let a million termites come around. Because if I keep relying on power to pursue termites, relying on power to pursue termites, one day I will tire. So I can use power once to pursue the termites. But to pursue them forever, they will never enter here now. Finish the roof. Finish the glasses. Put doors. If you like layering for put light inside, you won't see one tear. Not talk of might. You won't see one tear. Not talk of might. You won't see one. That is tear will go here. Might will go there. They will, they will a thousand here, a thousand there. None will come inside here. What is that one? System. So you use that one and bind the termites. So I was in this plane flying. Before we took up, God said, if people are sick, how do you heal? I said, power of God. I lay my hands. Pa, 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 pa. People get healed. It's okay. Good job. Keep it up. If they, but if the plane is sick, will you go and lay hands on the plane? Ha! I said, God. He said, no, if the plane is sick, will you lay hands on the plane? I said, no, sir. He said, what will you do? I said, Lord, I don't know how to heal plane. I don't know how to, so I'm not a mechanic. I, I will need a mechanic to come and fix the plane. It's okay. He said, now there are two Gospels. One is the Gospel of Grace. So the Gospel of Grace is the one that heals the individuals, the passengers. You pray, they get healed. He said, but there's the Gospel of the Kingdom. The Gospel of the Kingdom is the one that heals the earth. It's the one that heals the system. Oh, God. Where are you standing on now? The earth. Eh? Where are we living in now? The earth. So if you come to church and the focus is on you and not on the earth, if the earth falls sick, it will grind you. How do I know? If you finish healing everybody in the plane and the plane is sick, engine is shaking. Chuk, 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 chuk. It's not functional. And you say, oh, the powerful man of God is on board the airline. So nothing mega. Something will mega. The plane will go up with huge people. As the plane enters, there are engine fails, bah, then aircraft, air, what do you call it? Plane crash, go, 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 bah. All the huge people will die. The plane will scatter. But they were huge. You know why? The only thing that the man of God knows how to do is to heal the individuals, the passengers in the plane. Individuality gospel. But the gospel that heals the plane is not individuality. Power is for individual. Healing is for individual. Miracle for individual. Prophecy for individual. But there is a gospel for nations. There's a gospel for campuses. There's a gospel for the marketplace. There's a gospel for the court boys. There's a gospel for the for 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 every sphere and every system of the world. There's a gospel. That's the one the church is ignorant of. There's a gospel for politics. And the gospel is not going to put a stage. I'll come and climb and say, All oh, the politicians in the city receive the power of God. They will do energy. See what is going on in Sudan. Did you see how that airpiece man put his plane again? This is not the first time. He did it in South Africa, did it in uh, Ukraine. This is not the first time. I think this is the fourth time he's doing something like that. He sent his plane to go and evacuate the people from Sudan that they are killing back to Nigeria. And everybody is talking, oh, this man is a good man. He's doing what the government should have done. What a good man. They are praising him. That's gospel of the kingdom. Hello? 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 Imagine Allen Onyama, that CEO of Airpiece. Imagine he's a Christian. Imagine he's a member of this church. Or imagine he's a pastor. Imagine he knows what I know. Do you know that singular gesture has given him influence over humanity? People are not interested in our talks. 
is our works. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can we change the earth? Oh, my time. And I feel some of you, you have overfed. There's no space again to receive. I need to close now. On Sunday, I will talk on the principle. There's nothing we need in this church again. It's partnership. It's not miracle. I don't care what is wrong with you. Partnership makes everything possible. All this, I prophesy, receive it. It's waste of, it's, 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 it's headache. There's a place for that too. I do it. It's headache. It's headache. Partnership makes miracles possible. Partnership makes everything possible. Partnership. Partnership makes wealth creation possible. Everything you want to create with partnership is possible. Let us is a principle. So, can we now begin to think on things that are of more serious concern? Things that borders on our togetherliness. Let's get that one right. On our unity. On our cooperation. When the devil comes into a system, he wants to scatter. And it's your ignorance that allows him to carry out his job. You are ignorance. That thing that divides us is the biggest tool he uses to stop us. See how the children of Israel stopped building a great tower. I show you. Do you see that the early church in Acts of Apostles chapter 2, what they understood, what they understood, because that's what Jesus left with them. The Bible said that church grew from 120 to 3,000. And the Bible said they had all things in common. They shared their bread together. They broke bread from house to house. They devoted themselves. You will never see a place where he said himself. Everything was they, them, they, their self, themselves. When you watch that church model, oh God, my time. See, let me show you this. Did I waste your time? See, Acts chapter 2. Look at verse 40. See, and they were continually devoting themselves to the apostle teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer. And everyone kept feeling a sense of awe. And many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who had believed were together and had all things in common. And they began selling their property and possessions. Why? They knew it was not their own. They knew what they had didn't really belong to them. There was a common goal to pursue. And in pursuing this common goal, everybody will achieve a common good. Everybody will achieve a common good. You want to make it faster. Partner. Partner. Oh God. Read that scripture. You will keep saying, day, 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 them, them, them. Then when you go home, because of time, go and read Genesis chapter 11. And see how when people came together to build a tower. But when God saw what they were doing, he said, nothing, God himself testified. Not the devil, God. God himself, even the devil couldn't stop them. God himself testified that nothing can stop these people from achieving what they have proposed to achieve. He said, come now. See, God wanted to stop a walk. He didn't do it alone. He said, to, he said, come now, let's go down and confound their language that they will not be able to hear one another or understand one another. It took God team to stop a team. He took God and his team to stop a team. So what did God do? He put the spirit of individuality in them. So the evil man will come and say, Bia, because we're telling Mary. The Roman will say, Kilode. Benny. How's the man will say? Uh, Ishaku. Ishaku, what? Eh? The young man will say, Ete. Nobody understood themselves again. So everybody was speaking one language. Let me tell you, nobody spoke, no two persons spoke the same language. Because if two persons spoke the same language, work would have continued. All of them spoke. That's where the fathers of all tribe came out of. The father, number one father of Igbo came out from that building. The number one father of Yoruba, oh, do, do, that was where he came out from. Eh? Father of acquired people, that's where he came out from. Father of, of, um, of uh, Yoruba, that's where he came out from. So when a Yoruba man, 
Apiola was going to talk to the Ibo man or to the Efik man. When he spoke a language, the language sounded, he spoke his language, it sounded like insult. He was speaking to Niger Delta man. You know, they have hot blood. A worry man. Maybe he called him Abiku. He said, Abiku, Abiku. And then the man understood his language like, ah, this guy is calling me a dog. And he turned. And this guy was already keeping fingers. He said, eh? He said, you're calling Abiku. Eh? Eh? That's where Triber Mike came out from. Yoruba Triber Mark. In the course of fight. You didn't know fight broke out in that place. They bring me cup. You understand? That's break my head. Eh? Fight came out. So they were in my hell day. Yoruba they were fighting. Igala man started getting. Have you not seen Triber Mike? Igala people right here. Right here. Is somebody here? I'm saying, oh yes, all kinds of things happened here. That was where the devil saw how a big thing can be stopped. He said, "This thing God did is a model, yeah, and this is what I'll be using for my sports. and that's what He has been using. Any church that, that God wants to raise to become so great on the earth, this is what He will use. Everybody speak your own language, just talk your own language. Come for midweek, I have my thing to go and do. Now, um, excuses, I pastor this pa- and take all the excuses. It borders around individuality. Pastor, I have to go here, pastor, I have to do this, pastor, I have this. Anytime you hear I, I, individuality can submit to community, there's a problem. You are not existing for you. You are a part. God created you as a part that must coexist with other parts to bring his agenda to pass on the earth. When you start seeing your degree, I'm pursuing degree program. I have to go for my lecture. They are disturbing me. Anytime you're always feeling it for yourself. Anytime you're always feeling it for yourself. Anytime you're always feeling it for yourself. The devil is working on your case. You can't make sacrifices. You can't let go your own agenda. You can't let go your own desire. There is no way the purpose of God can come to pass. I give you one or two examples of what we want to do now, and I'll close. Look at some noble project God has given us. Do you know this vision has a school in it? Look at what is going on with the gay thing now. They want to promote gay in schools. Do you know this church is on a rescue mission? We have a vision to build a school. That we've not said any buildings because we're not through with this one yet. Some people who are not cooperating with what we are doing here don't understand that their children will face the risk. Because you frustrate God's purpose. All you want is, Pastor, touch my head and it shall be well with me. Pastor, touch my head and it shall be well. It not go well with you. You go enter well. We are fighting against systems. The devil, the Bible doesn't say we are not ignorant of the powers of the devil. He said, For we are not ignorant of the devices. He said, Be not ignorant. Devices are schemes and systems, structures. You go and put gay inside school. And your child will get this guy, he's studying gay. When he comes back from school, he'll tell you, Mommy, I fell in love today. He said, oh, wow. Wait, who? He said, My friend. Who is your friend? Chisum. It's Chisum, a girl, a boy. No, a boy. I don't know how I'm having feelings for him. They put the demon inside curriculum. I fed him. Hello, somebody? Yeah. They put him inside curriculum. I fed him. I see where the word is going. Fed him. I saw a pastor online. I'll send this on the group tonight. The guy was boasting and saying he's a gay pastor. He's a, he's gay. He's HIV positive and he's living fine and he's okay. He has no problem. That God loves him. That the Bible doesn't. The pastor. The thing is in church now. The other day they beat a particular priest, Anglican priest in the U.S., a white priest. There's a particular Igbo church, Anglican church in the U.S., at New Jersey, in the U.S.A. They posted a new white priest to them, and the white priest is a full-blooded gay, a homosexual. The whole parish beats the man and said, they don't need him here. Did you watch the video? They chased the man away, a white man. I said, it's not enough to beat him up. When you finish beating, it's only one you beat out of many. How many can you beat? There's a system giving rise to them. 
A philosophy giving rise to them. We have the philosophy of God's word. Yet people cannot preach it. See what God has given your pastor. I have this word in my mouth. I have these principles at my fingertips. You can't cooperate. When they bring you fake prophets with police and torrents, he said, as the man of God. That's where the crowd is. Pull the crowd there. You can't pull. Because in your mind, you just came to church to come and hear good preaching. You don't understand. You carry light and put on that bushel and carry darkness and exalt it. This is truth for nations. This is truth for education. This is truth for every sphere of society in my mouth. Who would say we should win so? Some of you just feel yeah, they are disturbing me. I have quiz. I don't have money. I don't have time. I don't know what to say. You don't understand. You think it's about pastor is putting pressure on you. What is standing in the way is your individuality. You are seeing your inability, my inability. It's of you to say God's ability and then obey God's principles, obey instruction. Just obey what God says should be done. Do it. Because it will take teamwork to achieve what we want to achieve. Imagine we build a school. Who will come and put gate here? We are starting a technological hub in the university here. We have been in talk with the vice chancellor. And then the stage where we are now, we have gotten almost. 100% approval. We're just doing some fine, fine tuning of one or two things on the paper. And then they've given us the whole university to develop a digital hub at CAS. And it's not free. They are, we're, not, we're not paying for the, 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 the building. We're not paying for the, for the space. They're giving us a whole building, a whole premises in CAS, furnish it with equipment and everything that we need. All I'm coming with is the curriculum. Because I sat down to discover what is the gap in learning today in the university. People are just studying what is not helping them compete. Where is the world now? What's the new market? What's the new market? So I'm bringing the knowledge that is not available in your school to the school. Developing the structure, the curriculum, the system. I've been on it. Sleepless night, sleepless day, working on it. Because that gospel that just go from class to class preaching, praise the Lord in Jesus' name. I receive as somebody raise it doesn't work again, nobody will hear you. So, as a kingdom person, I'm finding value. What value is missing as a salt and a light? What value? Package it now, take it to the campus, introduce it. All the university students will go there. We are running online classes. Or oh, if the school is 100,000, all the 100,000 students are going to be part of it. The school will give them certificate in collaboration with the Institute, Institute for Tech Development. They will issue them certificate at graduation. My own certificate you will collect at graduation. Wow. Am I lying? Is that not what they said? Is that not what they said? They will offer you my certificate upon graduation. With my company logo and C, they will give it to you. You can't be running. You don't, somebody built the system and is a pastor. Now, a confused person would think it is digital hub I want to go and build. You don't know what I'm building is using the position of Daniel in Babylon to influence Babylon. Using the position of Joseph in Egypt to influence Egypt. You think I'm going to go and put system? I will not be teaching it. I set the system. I will bring the lecturers, the consultants, the resource persons who will be teaching there and doing whatever they are doing there. But I'm going facilitating the whole thing. But at the end of the day, inside that structure, I'll be discipling. Is that because that is the trend now? You have to catch the trend, introduce it in, but use that trend and preach the gospel. It's called the gospel of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Sir. Have you tasted flagi before? Flagi. Do you know how bitter flagi is? Anytime I have smoke upset and I put flagi in my mouth, no matter how I try to escape it. Flagi must still taste in my throat. And there's no way I will not be like this. Because it's bitter. But let me tell you something. There's another way you can take flagi. It's not bitter you. Do you know how to take it? Mold eba. Find a goosey soup. Open eba. Carry the two flagi. Bury one here. Bury one here. Round about it. Put it inside your goosey soup. Open your mouth, swallow it comfortably. The flagi will open inside your system and achieve the same thing it would have achieved if you put it raw. 
You see this gospel of Jesus. See the way the nations are going now. If you are introducing him wrong like that, he's bittering people inside their mouths. You must find a way to take this same Jesus. Put him in digital education. Put him in entrepreneurship education. Put him in all kinds of structure. Take it to the same system that rejected him. They were accepted this time. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? That's how the kingdom makes you think. If you are living for myself, myself, me, I, myself, I, me, you will never be able to see God's kingdom like this. You can't dominate the earth. This is what it means to have dominion. Subdue a whole campus. Subdue a whole campus. Bring everybody under the lordship of Jesus by system. By kingdom. That's just one. Number two. The market. About what do you call it? International market. What's the vacuum? Yeah, I discovered the vacuum. Very simple vacuum. You go to the market to buy things, shops everywhere, thousands of people selling the, the same thing with building material, the same thing with timber. And they have association. Every morning they come there, maybe once in a month, they hold prayer. And that's all they do. If you go there with your flyer now to invite me to church, they'll tell you they have a church. Religion. Religion. That's why Jesus was not building physical church. You know what Jesus was doing? He was preaching in parables. There's something called parabolic gospel. The parabolic gospel is the gospel that can appeal to every ethnos, every people, whether they are Christians or non-Christians. It can carry everybody along. When you go to invite people to church with flyer, Chances are that you have excluded many people because it is church. It's not church. Lost Jesus has come. People life has come. A mountain fire has come. The winners has come. This one has come. It's the same thing. So, what is now the difference we can create? Simple. I look at the market space. I discover these people who are doing business, they also need training. They also need development. They also need new knowledge. They also need new skills. They also need to understand what is evolving and trending in the marketplace. So what do I do? That whole marketplace, how do I drag them to God? Drag them to the kingdom? Drag them to church? How do I influence that place? Simple. Go and meet the chairman of the market. Oga, okay? I've discovered you will have a vacuum in this area. Every day you come to you just open your shop, enter, ask your market people. When was the last time they went for a training? Even you, who is your chairman? When was the last time you went for a business school training? Lagos Business School. When was the last time? Do you understand how the digital market works now? Do you understand cryptocurrency? Do you understand blockchain? Do you understand this? Do you understand? You will be so shocked. Bring things he doesn't know. He will be so dumbfounded. At the end of the day, drop your proposal. What's my proposal to you? Of all these beauty you guys have, that hall you guys use to only gather and do your market meeting and talk and share money like Mumu. Go to China and see what is going on now. In the stock exchange. Go to America. See how they do business in New York. You are here doing buying and selling. Can I give you guys a business institute here? I don't need to build it outside, inside here. Give me a hall. What do you guys do for me is this. Every Monday, 6 a.m. to 8 o'clock, all of you should sit down there. I will package the place for you guys. Let me see the hall. I will look at it, restructure it. Get me tables. Get me projector. Get me seats. Then I would print flyers. You are the executive. Help me spread the message to everybody in the market. Tell them Monday 6 30 to 8 a.m. and Friday 6 30 to 8 a.m. before the open shop that the consultant will be here doing business school for them. So 6 30 in the morning to 8 o'clock. I'm teaching on marketplace series. I'm teaching on business dynamics. I'm teaching on customer care service. I'm teaching how to build a, a, a build, build trust in your business. I'm teaching about customer retainership. I'm teaching about all kinds of things that you are not aware of in the marketplace. I don't need to tell them come to church and come and attend a business seminar. I'll be doing it right there. By the end of the influence them over a period of time. There's nothing you need in the market you can't get free again. Now, there's no time you tell them, if I'm most of them will start saying, please, can we pay you for this thing? Most of them will start even begging you, please, where's your church? We say, oh, can we come to your church? You will not need to evangelize anything. They will come. Is the gospel of the kingdom. 
the gospel of the kingdom does not focus on I, it focuses on systems. Now, do you know what you can do in that market by having the opportunity? But just using business as the vehicle. Business training as a vehicle. Right there, you can still do prayer. You can still change life. You can influence people. You can solve problems. Do all kinds of things. But now, see the challenge. When these ideas keep flowing like this, my biggest worry is, who will do it? Is it only me? I'm trying to institute for Epsu. I'm trying to institute for Funai. I'm trying to institute for Wana. I'm trying to institute for this. At the end of the day, I have timber to do. I have building material to do. I have a, a international market to do. I even have one now at international uh, shopping mall to do. Which people will do it? When there is scarcity of hands, scarcity of trained hands, how can we now fulfill this kingdom agenda? How can we? How can we? The gospel of the kingdom doesn't think about individuality. It thinks about territoriality. It thinks about community. It thinks about the earth, doesn't it? And it is in doing this thing that you finally gain the earth. Do you know how much is involved in that digital thing I want to do in Epsilon? Billions, if not money, as well. The next time you hear that your school fees has increased, I increase it. <laughs> and I put the structure in a way that even if you don't attend the school, you will still pay your school fees because it will be compulsory for everyone. Then put the sharing formula between my institute and the university. When the university saw the profit in it, they said, We're interested in it <laughs> because they are there to make money. We need to make the money, but I will impact the lives. For the first time, students of them should be receiving lectures with laptop online or their phone online. Your school doesn't do it. We're introducing new things. It's not just digital class we are doing alone. All that things we are bringing on board, the creativities and the innovation. And we had to do it in such a way that it did not interfere with their lecture time. Do your lecture morning to afternoon. We created our own in the evening. Systematically. But when you're going to write an exam, you'll write an exam. It will be part of your GP. Somebody sat down inside his house and just because that is how Bill Gates ruled the world. Just sit down, develop one chip like that. Develop one app. It's gone. That's how Steve Jobs rule. Can't you see iPhone 9, iPhone 15 Pro Max? Are you not thinking like that? And they're not believers. Someone will just sit down and encode something into food to shorty human beings' life. One. Someone will just sit down and think and infuse one thing into constitution, infuse one thing into bill in the National Assembly. And all that is to cause a disruption in your sight. Human beings are the ones still killing, to doing it. Church people are just clapping hands. Praising the Lord. Oh, it's we're not thinking system. I want to close with this now. Partnership is how God builds the kingdom. Will you settle down and partner? There is work to do. Some of you, we are chasing you too much. Come, 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 come. Are you not settling down? You come today, go tomorrow, because your concept of church is an individual approach. If you see kingdom approach, nothing can divide you. But if you keep seeing I, 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 that's why you be distracted, running from here and there. You will never cooperate. Small thing, you will leave church. Small thing, you will meet others. Small thing, you have traveled. Small thing, nobody is hearing from you again. Win souls, you can't win. Because the kingdom is not a factor to you. Stand on your feet, let's pray. Let's pray. I've not scratched this gospel on partnership. It's on Sunday I will talk about it. But I will leave you with this assignment. You see, all the things that we are doing and saying to you, it's not just for you to hear and go. Go back, implement. For instance, in this issue of soul winning, if you understand that the concept of soul winning is about expanding our scope of ability to carry out certain tasks, like these tasks now, it's human beings that will be there facilitating the courses in the market. 
These human beings are facilitated courses in the schools. Have you been equipped enough? That's why when we put training, discipleship, leadership, we put all, we recommend books, we say spend money, do this, do that. Don't think we're trying to waste your time. We are trying to raise a people of influence that will determine what this world will look like in the next few years to come. Let's not let it for Facebook. Let's not let it for WhatsApp. Every time WhatsApp introduces a new thing, you will adjust to it. Every time Facebook introduces you, there are people running this system. Which one is the church running? The church does not have a unity bank. Even the Muslims understand how to build systems than church. Church has their own Islamic banking. They have their own Sharia court. We don't have our own court. We don't have our own bank. Which one do we have? We don't have our estates. We don't have our own agriculture. We don't have our own schools. Which one do we have? We are at the mercy of Babylon. There is money in partnership. You partner with what we are doing here. I can tell you this for free. Everyone here will be rich. I know what I'm saying. Stop thinking of your own thing. My own thing. I, I, no. Start thinking kingdom, kingdom. Bury your own agenda. You will see how much you can make, both financially and otherwise, just being a kingdom person. This is the gospel the devil does not want you to hear. He thinks, he wants to make you think your problem is your problem. He doesn't want you to see any other thing as your problem, but your personal problem. But that's not your real problem. Your biggest problem is understanding the kingdom. If you understand it, you have no problem again. Open your mind and talk to God. We believe you've been transformed by the wonders of God's word. For additional information about us, you can visit our website at www.princetonhills.org. You can also send us a mail at info at princetonhills.org or call 070-331-66762 or 081-31-555-747. Princeton Hills Ministries, Raising Global Raising Leaders. Global leaders.